From stamping to headbutts to biting to diving, you're about to embark on a journey of the most disrespectful moments in Premier League history. Disrespect comes in all different forms in football. It doesn't matter if your team has won, you could still get Jose Mourinho sprinting to celebrate in front of the opposing fans, or if your team is losing and Luis Suarez decides to bite Ivanovic. Players, managers and entire teams allow their heated emotions to get the better of them, which result in unthinkable actions. We've seen once again from the 2022 World Cup that Emi Martinez loves a little dance. Penalties are becoming the Emi Martinez show as he seems to decide every shootout on his own and then ice it with a flurry of dance moves and celebration. The latest was after Tuchemeni's penalty hiccup that cost him the World Cup, but it wasn't the first time we've seen Emi Martinez pull out the moves. His famous Premier League dance came up against Manchester United and Bruno Fernandes' penalty. Aston Villa gripped onto a 1-0 win after Bruno Fernandes skied a 90th minute penalty. Emi Martinez swore around to face a Red Devil crowd and mock the fans with a little dance. Funnily enough, Emi Martinez was seen pointing towards Cristiano Ronaldo as the penalty decide was being chosen, almost as if he was summoning Ronaldo to meet him from 12 yards. Bruno Fernandes may have saved Ronaldo from being another victim of the Emi Martinez disco. How can you have a video of disrespectful moments without linking Luis Suarez into the list? He's certainly been a player that consistently swims in controversy, especially in his Premier League days at Liverpool. Let me take you back to a unique Premier League moment on the 21st of April 2013. Liverpool and Chelsea were standing off in a classic encounter at Anfield. Liverpool are 2-1 down and Luis Suarez's frustration has reached fighting point. In truly horrific scenes, Luis Suarez grips tight of his marker and unlatches his jaw to sink his teeth into Ivanovic's arm. Everyone was taken by surprise to see Ivanovic and Suarez on the floor, but the slow motion replays revealed a vampire-like moment that would have been inconceivable to every watching eye at the time. Luis Suarez went on to score a late equaliser heading home past Petr Cech, topping off a rather extraordinary battle between the two clubs. Obviously, football requires players to have natural or developed talent with their legs and feet to have any chance of going pro. However, Chelsea's Jose Bosingua transferred his talents from one sport to another as he flipped his football skills to karate skills with a flying kick to the back of Yossi Ben Ayoun. Unbelievably, Bosingua escaped any card, let alone the most obvious red card in Premier League history, Marouane Fellaini. At the height of his career, he still may have been more well known for that hedge haircut that stood in his head. At the end of 2018, Marouane Fellaini went through a deforestation process that had a new clean-cut look. Meanwhile, Gwen Duty was becoming a prominent starter for Arsenal as United and Arsenal came face-to-face -face at the end of 2018. In the last five minutes of the game, Fellaini grabbed a handful of Gwen Duty's familiar but long hair to drag him down to the ground. It seemed like someone was jealous of Gwen Duty's hair and fancy snatching some hair of a recent past. Let's rewind back a year to a full head of hair Fellaini. His hair was blonde, but his actions saw red against Manchester City. Once again, in the last five minutes of the game, Fellaini couldn't keep his hair on and took to headbutting Sergio Aguero after conceding a rather light foul. A reckless Fellaini wasn't even antagonised by a Argentine striker, but still turbulently walked up to the striker to give him a forehead full of fury. Good thing he kept the afro up at this point to soften the blow. Jose Mourinho is arguably the biggest wind-up merchant we've come across in managerial history. It's a blessing to have the special one in your league week in, week out, and the Premier League wasn't short on iconic Jose Mourinho moments. However, this disrespectful moment was at the expense of Jose Mourinho rather than his usual catalytic outbursts. A Manchester United side managed by Mourinho was taking on his ex-club Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. The game seemed sure to fizzle out as a 2-1 win for the Portuguese manager in his side, but Ross Barkley snatched a last-minute equaliser to break United hearts and rocket emotions to soar on both benches. One of the Chelsea staff members took to celebrating the goal directly in front of Jose Mourinho on his bench, rubbing salt in the wounds of the ex-Chelsea boss. Mourinho was having none of it. His expression on the bench switched to a baleful one as he pulled himself to his feet with malicious intent as security had to hold him back from engaging with the Chelsea staff member. In true Mourinho fashion, he took to reminding the home fans of the three Premier League titles he won at the full-time whistle by waving three fingers to the stands, never allowing them to forget that he is their most successful manager in their history. Never change, Jose. Few players can claim to have been at two top clubs in their career, let alone four for Manuel Adebayor. A career that was made at Arsenal under Arsene Wenger saw him leave to join Manchester City, Real Madrid and arch-rival Spurs. Betrayal cuts deeper when you've experienced so much with someone and they still choose to act without accordance to past loyalty. There is no better example of this than Emmanuel Adebayor's celebration against Arsenal in 2009. Only in his first season after moving on from the Gunners, Emmanuel Adebayor, in the game of the season, rose magnificently to head home his fourth goal in successive league games past Almunia. 
but then sprinted the length of the field unaccompanied by his teammates who saw the disrespect unfolding. It was an act that caused chaos in the Arsenal section of the stands with coins and objects being darted at the now City striker on his knees. Adebayor engraved his name into the list of traitors that would never be forgiven by Arsenal fans, continuing to antagonise Arsenal fans with a later career move to Tottenham Hotspur. How could he? We've had a little break from the Luis Suarez drama show. Let's get back to it. There's no stronger fit for a disrespectful moment than a derby match. Luis Suarez kicked off the Merseyside derby with the first goal of the game and didn't quite run the length of Adebayor's celebration, but certainly ran a lot farther than Chelsea's staff member's celebration in order to disrespectfully dive in front of David Moyes. David Moyes made a strong comment on Luis Suarez's diving history in the lead up to the game, which inspired Luis Suarez to hurl himself in front of the Everton dugout which saw David Moyes rise to his feet in a more controlled manner than his managerial counterpart Jose Mourinho, as David Moyes got a front row seat to the Liverpool celebrations just as Luis Suarez intended it. Arsenal and United have a rich history of rivalry, which was no stronger than the peak of the Wenger vs Ferguson years. In 2003, Van Nistelrooy jumped for a bouncing ball and landed on Vieira's back, knocking him to the floor. The Arsenal captain then kicked out his opponent, not even coming close to the United striker's leg, which saw an immediate second yellow for the Arsenal captain, which was assisted by Van Nistelrooy's overreaction of surprise and the angle the refs saw the incident. Arsenal were gripping onto a 0-0 draw at Old Trafford until Martin Keown handed United a spot kick as the final kick of the game. Van Nistelrooy put his laces through the ball as it rocketed into the crossbar that could have been heard from outside the stadium. All Arsenal players swarmed Van Nistelrooy as the final whistle blew seconds later, with Keown leading the abusive celebration, swinging a celebrating arm to knock the back of the United striker's head, followed by pushes and shoves from the following Arsenal players closest to the scene. Holding on to the draw wasn't enough for the Arsenal men in yellow. They targeted Van Nistelrooy in a disrespectful spat that will be remembered for decades to come. Lastly, we're returning to Luis Suarez and a dark history between the Uruguayan and Patrice Evra. The ugly affair began on October 15th, 2011, when Manchester United travelled to Anfield to take on Liverpool. United's left-back, Patrice Evra, alleged that Luis Suarez had made racist comments against him. Just over a month later, the FA gave Luis Suarez an eight-game ban with a £40,000 fine. During this month, Luis Suarez was adamant that he'd made no racist comment and it was a common Uruguayan phrase while ever pursued the case. The case was long and still has divided opinion to this day, but there is no division in what needed to happen when United and Liverpool came face to face on February 11th, shake hands and put the history to bed. The eyes of the footballing world were on the two teams as they took to the pitch at Old Trafford with everyone expecting a handshake. To his credit, Patrice Evra held his hand out for Suarez, but the Liverpool man simply blanked him and moved past. Evra then tried to grab Suarez's hand to shake it, but the Uruguayan just shook him off. And from there, we knew we were in for a stormy affair. The game came second to the heat between the two players, which was rounded off with Patrice Evra celebrating indirectly adjacent to Luis Suarez at the full-time whistle. Hopefully, we'll never see any kind of act similar to this narrative in football ever again. This is only a drop in the ocean of disrespectful moments in football history. We still haven't seen Mourinho's celebration after defeating Tottenham, Jamie Vardy's insults towards Pepe Reina after scoring a penalty, and so much more. So make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell on to see the next one. Which was the most disrespectful act in this list? Drop a comment with a personal favourite moment of yours and maybe we'll cover it in the next one. Thanks for watching, we're always here to give you sport.